Hey, Ava, thanks for being with me. It's awesome that you could be here, your little red-headed cutie. Oh, can I come tomorrow too? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you here tomorrow too. Okay. okay, so as I said, these are just questions that they are asking me to answer in regards to finding my tribe, finding people that would be fans of mine, per se, that would love to work with me down the road. So what I need to do is I need to solve your problems for you, whatever those might be. So one of the first questions is, what does success look like to you? What do you consider success? Success for me it means freedom. It means that I have, I can do what I love, what I'm passionate about, and I have the freedom to do it. Uh, also to help other people with it, because that's, that's the only main idea that we are here on earth, right? Uh, to help other people and I think what I do would do that yeah I think you're right uh, if there was anything currently holding you back right now what would you say it is for you um, I think I have to be more focused I have to get my mind really to a point that I know where I'm going or what I'm doing in more precise way because I'm a little bit too to all over the place. I know I have many skills mm -hmm. and I would like to concentrate on only one skill that I develop. So Okay, so you need you need help establishing your own niche market as to who your tribe is and, and how you need to approach them. Absolutely. Okay. You got it. Awesome. Okay. Um, what would be your worst case scenario? Uh, regarding achieving success? Yeah. My worst case scenario to have to work for somebody else and not be my, uh, not really uh, fulfilling what I'm passionate about. That would be the worst case scenario. Okay. And if you had a fear that is paralyzing you from taking any action, what, what is that fear that you're, you would be trying to push through? The fear that I would try to push it would be, oh my God, that I'm better than I think I am. That, um, like you, coming to the realization yeah, we, we that you're better than, than you think you are, yes. that you don't really realize how good you are and pushing through that. I think we all have that kind of, uh, um, problem sometimes that we question ourselves yeah. how how much we know what we know mm -hmm. but I know how much I know but realizing that how much I know and how much I can do that sometimes it gets scary so you want to stop doubting yourself yeah absolutely okay and what would be a daily frustration for you um, time really organizing my time and have the freedom to um, to to do what I like, to meet the people I want. The distance living in White Rock, it's, it's a little f un unpleasant from work um, because everybody here, it's like being on a vacation. Right. I mean, let's face it. Yeah, it's a we're in a resort place. town. Yeah. yeah. But um, basically that's it because I don't drive. I mean, I don't have a license, so... Right, it's so it's time managing the time that you do have yeah. to make it most worth your while because you know you're in for at least an hour to three hours back and forth. It, it's less, it's one and a half, uh, it's one and yeah. a half to... Five, Either five way, yeah. that's so right. So like it is, hours, yeah, it's... three hours in the day, right, and you have to get everything else in there that you wanted to accomplish. Absolutely. Okay, what would be something that annoys you beyond belief? Beyond belief, um, I think ignorance. Ignorance. Ignorance hmm. is my, it's one of those things that totally, uh, totally, Just and people you. not caring. It's right. you know like not not being um, aware of other people. Not, not being caring, compassionate. Not compassionate. Something like that. Okay. And uh, so what pushes your buttons? What pushes my buttons? Yeah. What, what just takes you over the top? It's really, I'm going back to ignorance. And okay. people, when, when they dismiss you and they look down at you, mm -hmm. it's like, 
you know, you don't even know me. Get the time to know me, and after judge me or judgmental people. Judgmental. They, judgmental people. They usual do that to me. Okay. And um, is that when you would lose control over your emotions? Yeah, I lose control in a way that I'm withdrawn. Mm -hmm. And you shut down. Yeah, I totally shut down. And so you don't freak out or spaz out or get loud. You actually implode. Yes. You go the opposite route. I go the opposite way. If somebody would like would hurt my dog or would hurt any of my family or friends, then I stand for that. Sure. Or I see um, people abusing somebody else right. or an animal. Yeah. For that, I don't have patience and I would not uh, withdraw. But usually I withdraw and after I'm thinking... I try to figure out if they were right mm -hmm. or where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. And most of the time I figure out that they're coming from their own fear. And then it helps me to be more um, more present mm -hmm. in a way. And I understand people. Yeah, that's great. That's maturity. That's a skill, actually, to Thank become you. that. That's, that's hard work to get there because not to go into instant reaction mode from getting on the front like that mm -hmm. is it takes a certain kind of compassion in yourself and maturity to actually handle those situations. So good for you. Um, so who do you trust? Who I trust? I give everybody a chance. But there is no second chances. My family fam and my friends are different, sure. but yeah. the friends you choose so all my friends who have been my friends, they have been for 20, 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. And I know them. So I know when happens something, even when I listen to them, their voice is going to tell me. But usually I give people a chance, but not second chances. Not second no, chance. No, because I realize that if you get second, they were going to ask for third. third. And you cannot change pe who people are. Right. But they have to change. If they change, but very seldom they do. Right. Well, good for you on that. Who would you say your heroes are? If you were to list, let's just say one, two, or three. Oh, my God. Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Okay, you now know, there's now an Goldilocks, interesting. Goldilocks, I call Sir Richard Branson. He's the Goldilocks. Oh, that's who you... Oh, okay. Oh. He's fabulous. I love him, too. It's his all for helping. Yeah, and he's wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's, not for, it's not for himself. And I like people who have money. Yeah. And they deserve it when they help and they go for the, for the bigger picture of, you know, of a little pitiness. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, I have to have this. I have to have that. Yeah. Yes, he has it. But he helps... He's with uh, animals, uh, children, so I really like him. I like Oprah. Mm -hmm. And those two are my, on my bucket list. <laughs> You're going to meet them one day. Oh, one day. I Absolutely. To, before I die. Ah. So, yes. And um, actually, I like you. Aww. You help me a lot. It's Aww. like, uh, as, as we were talking, mm -hmm. uh, you gave me an advice that I have been following for the past, I don't know, almost 20 years. That's crazy. It's so that's, uh, it's such a compliment. I, I, I'm just so moved by that. It's really, it really is cool. Yeah. You know, to, th to think, you know, for me, it would have been, you know, nothing because it's just yes. me being a loud mouth or, oh, you know how you can make this like this or that and that. And, <laughs> I mean, it's just me talking again, just off the top of my head. Right. But, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm so glad that, uh, cause you used it right away too. That, yeah. that is what is so cool. Yeah. You listened to what I had to say and then you actually acted on it. So that's even cooler because there's lots of times you can give people, you know, suggestions or advice. They don't necessarily run with it, but, uh, good for you. I That's was awesome. so happy to hook up with you again after I, I know. came back to... Uh, well, I mean, to, uh, you're such a cute little munchkin. I mean, oh, when God. I met you in the fashion industry and just such a bright little star. I mean, how, how could I not fall in love with you as well, right? So it was pretty. It was a pretty easy deal. Now, um, oh, here's the, here's the question. So you have your heroes. What is it about them that makes you trust them? Like what, what is it in their essence or the way they present themselves that makes you trust them? They what care. is it? They care. They care. Okay. They care. And they, 
they are not only for themselves, but for they really care, like Sir Richard Branson, about the environment, right. and we know what's happening about the animals. Right. Yeah. We know what's happening. Um, Oprah cares about people and helps them and. Uh, um, has these spiritual people coming on and, and actually helping us to become more open to ideas, be more, um, more in tune with nature and with ourselves. Mm -hmm. So for me, those are people who, who are there for somebody else, for others, for me, for you, for many people. For anybody. Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. So what do those people symbolize to you? Hmm. It symbolizes goodness and I want to be better because of them. Um, I know that I always like animals. I love nature. I mean, what is more perfect than nature? I know. So for me, it symbolizes that I can do something. Maybe I can do a little bit of change. And even if I, I can do a change in one person or two people, then my life was not wasted. My life was worth here on earth. Yeah, that's actually how I define success. Yeah. I, I, you know, people have said to me, you know, I mean, you, you may not be a millionaire, but I, I said, oh my God, I am so rich with how my life is, has turned out because I know I've influenced and helped so many people along the way. And if that's not a rich and successful life, I don't know what is. So it doesn't surprise me that you feel the same way. <laughs> um, so if you were to think of a person, and I, I mean, I hate going to the negative, but if you, could, if you were to think of someone that you just can't stand, like when they appear on TV or, or you know, you see them or you hear about them, what what person is this or what is it about them that is not making you very happy or, or very comfortable? I won't name names. Okay. But I'm going to tell you what I cannot stand. I cannot stand egotistic people who are only for themselves. Right. I cannot stand liars and cheaters who are only for themselves. And here I'm not talking about... Uh, in a, in a marriage sexualized or right. something yeah. or cheating, yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about cheating the people. Right. And I, I, those are the people and the negative people. Um, I don't like um, wars. I, right. I don't like violence. I don't like excuses. And I think this, a lot of, in Canada, it goes down to excuses. The laws are very lenient. So I would like to see that changed. But basically, those are the people. And can be in politics, can be in business, can be anywhere. But that's what I don't stand for and I don't like.